All right, so let's get and let's get let's talk about some of your my players. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how do you come up with the names for them? Right, that's a good question. A lot of people ask that. Um, I guess it's different for each one. Um, usually, let's see. So the first one I did, the dude's name was Alexander Barkley, and that was a name I'm pretty sure I just came up with as as a kid, like you know, drawing stuff in like notepads when I was super, super young, just like, I don't know. I was always like a creative mind just doing so, so much like random stuff when I was a kid. Um, and I'd had that name just like, I don't know. I'd had that one forever. So I went with that for my first, my player. But after that, it's honestly just like find a nationality that works. Cause I like to change it. The first one was an American player, my player on FIFA. Um, the next was a Spanish. Then we we've done French. We've done, we've done a lot. We've been all over the board, Portuguese, um, and then pick the nationality and it's kind of like, honestly, just go online, browse around for like popular names and just find like one that I think is like a unique name. And, I, and I'll, occasionally I'll use, um, I'll go in the comment section for some inspiration because people are always dropping comments on what they want for the next my player. So, yeah, I, I would say that it's it just random, really. Yeah. yeah, and almost every one of your my player, there's like at least one person saying idea for the next my player, and yeah, like that. So yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I so I try to use the comments as much as possible. Um, sometimes it's a little bit overwhelming feedback, but a lot of times they give me some good idea. You know, I love using and interacting with my community for video ideas, stuff that they want to see. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons I've been so successful is because you know someone puts a comment, "Yo, Beford, you should do this," and I drop a video on it the next week because I think it's a really cool idea. So yeah that's how most of your all-star challenges that's how yeah. you do most of them yeah. yeah definitely it's it's all it's all community feedback pretty much i mean I'll, I, i'd say i do think of a lot of the ideas myself and I'll, I'll take inspiration from the comments i'll see something and maybe i'll uh change it a little bit but yeah um the the comments in my community does a really good job at that so it's yeah i love it it's awesome so you did a video about this a few months ago i think mm -hmm. is how do you like record your my players yeah uh, yeah, for, that's for the people yeah. that don't know. Could you like say it? If you want? Yeah, yeah, I've done it. Yeah, you're right. I did do a video on that like a few years ago. It's 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 interesting because a lot of people are out there thinking so if you're maybe new to the FIFA scene, I do a FIFA my player, which is a game mode inside of FIFA. And then I use GTA, which I mean, everyone knows Grand Theft Auto, um, the GTA five. So I'll, I'll record my gameplay on FIFA. I'll record all those games, anything else I need. Um, and then I'll go over and record GTA. And this is all um, through my computer. So just recording my screen. I play FIFA on the PC now. So I'll use OBS to record that. Um, I'll record my games. I'll jump over to GTA. Usually before the video, I'll do some prep work, like where I want the story to go. Um, and, you know, how I arrange uh, the storylines, how I want specific games to go, what I want to focus on. And then I'll go over and record that on GTA, do all the editing for that, mix the footage together. Some people like actually think that, and it's, it's I'm sure kids that are super, super young, they think, yo, how can I get actual storylines in FIFA? How can I do all that? And it's, it's really, it's just GTA. Um, most people obviously know that, but um, yeah, it takes a while to record. I do all the voiceovers after, uh, record the stuff, edit it together. I have the full timeline laid out and then add the music to the background. And then I sit here, same setup you're seeing right now, and just do the voiceover myself, and boom, it's uploaded. So it can be – those episodes take a while. Those ones can are probably anywhere between four to seven hours to make, sometimes more, sometimes less. It just really depends on the day, honestly. Yeah, I remember, like, w the first My Player I watched, it was, like, mm -hmm. Julian Weaver, something like that. Yeah, that was the German one, yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah. like, I remember when I saw that, ooh, I want to do a My Player too. So, I mean, mm -hmm. a My Player – yeah. Um, I, I I think it was English, and like okay. I, since I didn't know how to do the storylines thing, I just made made them up in my head. Yeah, and I just I played mean, the game. So yeah, it's I all about the creative creativity, yeah. right? I mean, it's that's what it is, and I think uh, that's one of the reasons why people enjoy the content so much. So yeah, that's so that's so cool that you do that. Yeah, and a lot of people I feel like have a lot of my fans I've seen you know tweet me or send me pictures on Instagram of like recreating the my players that I make, which is super cool. Like giving people inspiration like that is awesome. I remember once I remade uh, Rafael Reese's hair in FIFA yeah. because I, I thought it was cool, so I made it for one of my players. Did you really? Yeah, that was <laughs> – he was – I think that was the fav my favorite one that I've ever done just because um, I think the storylines were so unique that I did. The support was so good. That was this past year on FIFA 20. Um, 
I, that was my favorite series we've done. I mean, it was the most successful one, um, and everyone loved them. It was, yeah, it was really, it was really fun to make. But I, I, I'm super excited because we got FIFA 21 coming soon, and I still don't know what I'm doing yet. So I got a few more weeks to think about it, but we'll see. What do you think I should do for that? Um, what, what nationality should we go with? Like, I feel like Mexican or Canadian. Okay. Okay, North America. All right. Yeah. yeah, that could be good. I like some sort of like Canadian with like an Alfonso Davies like replica uh, or something yeah. go off that or yeah, I like that. I think I think we might I, I, I like I really want to go back and do another American one, but everyone's asking for all these different nationalities. So, hey, we'll see what happens. No promises, but Mexico and Canada are definitely up there. Yeah, 100%. So um, you kind of answered this question already. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite my player you have done? Yeah, it's that one. Other than that, um, since I kind of already ran through that, I would say the first one that I did, it was the Alexander Barkley American one, just because it's like, that's where I got my start. It If you go back and watch it, it's like, if you go back back and watch that one compared to the one I just talked about in FIFA 20, it's like crazy how much I've grown in terms of like editing, storytelling. But that one is just like nostalgic. People, even though like the voiceovers are, are so, like they're not very great, um, People still love it just because that nostalgia factor. And that's where a lot of people started watching. I would probably go with those two. The first one that I did and then the most recent one that I did, I would probably go with. Yeah. My favorites are the right, yeah, Julian Weber. Okay. Is that the first one? You, that's the first one yeah. you watched though, right? Okay. Uh, Makes sense. The Andre Song, which, which was the, the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper one? Yeah. Yeah. And the latest one, Rafa Ruiz. Okay. Yeah. That's a good list. I, I, I really like that I have a good variety of ones out there and what are nice about those videos is that you they're, they're they're really like you can go back and watch any series and it's like you know whenever you want it's like a lot of people who do like ultimate team content like you don't really go back and watch a pack opening from like fifa 17 but like if you're mm -hmm. already finished the my player there's so many it's like it's like different seasons of a netflix show you can go back yeah. and watch an old season and like binge it and i know a lot of people that do that i, I really like that about the my player they just they, they really never die honestly I remember when I first found the Julian Weber one, I thought yeah. it was cool. I subscribed mm -hmm. and then I looked for your other ones. So I watched yeah. them for like a week, all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly. They're just, you can just binge them. And I know a lot of people too were like, what's nice. And this is what I used to do because I got this inspiration from A9 skills like I talked about. And one thing I would do is like, and I'm sure so many people, my viewers do, it's like, I watch the games here and there, but I think people really like the storyline. They see, they watch some of the big games. They'll skip ahead, maybe past a game or two. And they'll, they'll, they just want to see how the story progresses, how the player grows. So yeah, it's, yeah. I really like that. And if the thing is, if I wasn't doing this, like I would be watching someone out, out there do it. Cause this is like the videos that I make now are videos that I was watching before I was an actual YouTuber. So 